The problem is most phones feel like copy and paste glass rectangles, right? So when I see something different, I get a little bit excited. I think we all do. And especially when it means I can play with microscopes. Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap and I've teamed up with Samsung. Oops. Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap and I've teamed up with Samsung Display for this video because I want to show you some of the best bits from CES 2022 and why their screens, particularly their folding OLED screens, are properly next gen. But I'm even more intrigued by Samsung Display's new Flex devices. If you haven't seen these yet, it feels like it's something out of Minority Report or something. These are just concepts and demos for now, but this new Flex S can fold in and out in an S shape, which lets you use it like a phone or a multi-screen setup or just one big tablet. The Flex G, on the other hand, folds inwards, which makes it more durable as the screen is protected on the inside. And this concept comes in a couple of different sizes. Then there's this guy, it's the new Flex Slidable. So instead of folding, it, well, as it says on the tin, slides out. Now we have seen a few brands show off concepts like this before, but the design is the closest to a regular phone, which I think is important for a lot of people. And then when you want that extra space for multitasking or gaming, you can slide it out and then get that extra chunk of screen. But the funny thing is, even just a few years ago, the idea that we would have and you could actually buy folding phones or folding tablets like this seemed pretty crazy. And of course, we've got the Flip 3 here. This is the third gen Fold, Z Fold 3. We've got the second gen Flip, although they call it the Z Flip 3. And actually, in terms of pricing, well, of course, this is still pretty expensive. The Flip is kind of comparable to the Galaxy S21 Plus. So it actually comes down to what form factor you want. So while you still get a few looks if you're out in public using one of these, we are getting used to it. So now we're looking to the next generation foldables. Now these are folding phones and tablets, but what about something a little bit bigger, something laptop size? Well, that's where the Flex Note concept comes in. When it's folded, it's as portable as a 13 inch laptop, but unfolded, you get a huge 17 inch screen. And of course it's protected as it folds inwards. What is interesting though, is normally I would be a bit skeptical of these concepts. We see some crazy at CES and then either it doesn't come out or it doesn't work as well as we expect. It happens all the time, but it grabs headlines. I think what's different here though is that we have a track record from Samsung and Samsung Displays, the separate arm which actually makes and sells the screens which go into Samsung's products and other brands buy them as well. And these are more durable each time. And actually we saw at CES a fold in the cold test which demonstrates the durability in extreme climates. So let's say these were all on the market now, you could buy it today. Which one would you go for? The Flex S, the G, the Slidable, or the Note? Which one do you think is most exciting? So while it is always good to take these things with a pinch of salt and have a healthy degree of skepticism for actually when they come out, how much they're going to be, and also the durability, obviously we'll put all those things to the test in actual reviews. I'm pretty confident that this stuff will actually work quite well. So those are the flashy concepts, but let's dive a little bit deeper, literally. Let's get a microscope out and talk about pixels, because this is actually where the magic happens. So a few weeks ago, I did a proper deep dive into Samsung Display's tech, and I'll leave a link if you wanna check that out and you really wanna nerd out, but the headlines for some of Samsung Display's latest OLED panels include their diamond pixel structure, we actually already see this on some phones like the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and under a microscope you can see how it smooths out the edges, which means you get an even sharper image without having to bump up the resolution. Then there's Eco Square OLEDs. The Z Fold 3 again was one of the first to come to market with this, and by adding a polarizer to the screen, it helps improve power efficiency by up to 25%, which of course is always a plus when screens are one of the biggest power draws on a device. And crucially, this will be even more important with these new next gen flex and folds that come with even bigger screens. Then of course, there's the inherent advantages to OLED over a traditional LED LCD, including faster response times. So we see less motion blur, which of course is important for gaming. The near infinite contrast of the self emitting pixels, which gives us those inky true blacks and rich colors while also offering a boost to battery life if your phone or laptop is in dark mode, and at the same time, reducing how much harmful blue light is actually emitted, which is better for your eyes and your brain. So you guys know the advantages of OLED, but when you combine it with the diamond pixel structure, the power saving of Eco Square tech, and then these crazy new designs and concepts, and let me know in the comments below which one of these folding, flexing, sliding, flipping devices, phones you're most excited about. I think for me, 
I want that Flex S with a case on it, obviously. Hopefully it won't be too long till some of these come to market and I can uh, properly test and review them. So make sure you have hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.